So we're looking to Bitcoin price. Let's look. Please look to the video yesterday, the live stream. I said we will go here to the downside. The price was here 20,000, 20,500. And I said here we will go here to the downside. And today you can see the Bitcoin price is going here to the downside. The prediction was 1000% correct. The Moon Boys sleep here. I today opened the YouTube and look, okay, uh, what are the analyzes and from the other YouTubers and so on. <laughs> then I saw this Moon Boy. Uh, he uh, wake up, yeah. The eyes are very small. Then I say to myself, yeah, uh, this man cannot make a good uh, prediction because he sleep, yeah. When YouTuber is uh, on traveling, so. If you may, if you want make a yeah, good analyze, then you look and focus every second on this price, yeah. And you can see. Let's uh, look what I said to you here yeah. that we will fall. This is from yesterday, yeah. Fall out of range. That means we will smash to the downside here, yeah? and this negative to the downside. Uh, we will see this here. And this is painful. That that will very pa painful. Painful. The moon boys, uh, um, yeah, getting uh, crying. Yeah, they will cry very painful because they buy here at these levels, and I think the price will go here between thirteen thousand and twelve thousand. Yeah. So the prediction to the downside is happening. Now we're looking to the price. What's happening here? Um, at the Bitcoin price. Let's look. We adjust our screen and look to the prediction what I made. Yeah, this is the original. The the, the colors and so on is from yesterday. Yeah, I not changed something. You can see and uh, compare. Yeah, I said okay. If the manipulation is happening, then we see this. But in in the video, you can see that I prefer the way blue. So my what I thought yesterday was the way blue and the way blue is coming out yeah, or coming through. So let's look here more inside. Yeah, and look what happens here. So I'm honest to you. If I zoom in, then you can see we break already this small uptrend. This is horrible to analyze because. <laughs> You have here yeah, need the experience. Yeah, the moon boys uh, they have a question mark in their head. The problem is look to the uh, here, 30 minutes chart, one minute chart. In this area, nobody uh, analyzed the chart because this is too complicated. Yeah, please find a chart expert who analyze in the one minute chart and 30 minute chart. You will, you cannot find. There, there are no people. Yeah. There's no somebody. So let's look here. What is happening? We'll zoom in. It's very, very difficult here to analyze from to the from the chart yet from, from yesterday. Because I draw here very very much things. But we can say in general for us is important the red line here. We are clear in the negative trend, still in a negative trend. The danger is that the walls stretch this to this level again, 20,000, to reach the negative trend line. Yeah. But general, we can say if we look here to this negative, yeah, we have a second negative channel that is from beginning from here. So both are crossing. So it's total normal that the price is not going here to the upside. Yeah. And uh, if we zoom more in, then you can recognize that this here is the best part from this. Yeah. Um, how can I describe you this that you understand this? Look, we going, we going here to the downside. We have this formation, yeah. We're going here to the downside, make a break, go sideways, then we're forming here inverse left shoulder head and the right shoulder formation. That means this is extreme, extreme danger, yeah. Double danger, call it, call it what you want, yeah. 
the danger is will begin here at 13,000. If we break the 13,000, then really big ugly formation is coming through. Then we break here our neckline, and you can see our big a negative trend line is coming from here, and you can see we have really really bad cards. Yeah, if we break the 13,000 level, we are here at 18,000 that we will break here down. Yeah, really sell off, kill of Bitcoin and and so on other uh, cryptos. Yeah. And I predict this 30,000 level six months ago. Yeah, six months ago, uh, well, I think nine months ago, six, nine months ago, I said the price would go to 30,000. So after 30,000, I called the 20,000 again, right? And again, yesterday, again, right, that the price would fall here to the downs. And today, we will see the next days that the price will drop more. But be careful, be careful, because here, if you look to this RSI, then you can see uh, here we have here an extreme oversold situation. That means the vaults, they all know that you short. They can, uh, from this point, make a really, really good how can I say an uptrend like this? Yeah, and then they call this technical uh, retest. Yeah, and if you see something like that, you can see this is coming. Not focusing more on the negative side, that can happen. Yeah, if you look here to this, we can we have to expect this. Yeah, and this is the danger here for people who short at the moment. Bitcoin so that we can make here a retest of this area and that's the dangers of this yeah that we say okay the vaults they can stretch this we delete this that you can see something so we delete also this negative trend so we make this this away so the blue line is still active so that the walls can stretch this if we coming here in this levels again to this levels yeah this is so my my how can i say um horror scenario if this coming to this levels then is a little bit ugly yeah then we have to look can the price break this and then we making this and total another formation is coming out yeah if we are going to these levels here, then it's really clear what happens as next. So in my eyes, the blue line is more real that uh, the green line will happen. So, yeah, I would say here 60% is, 40% is that the retest is coming. Especially if you look here, it makes sense if we drop maybe yeah, at 13,000, 14,000. If we get this year, yeah, the green line makes sense that we can start the green line from here, maybe. Then it makes more sense. Yeah, let's look. Let's look, and uh, I would say stay on the channel and follow the live streams. Have a nice day.